Okay, this is another masking tutorial, but this one is for tricky bits like, say, if there's a person with hair and you want to get all the hair in the screen. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hold on, I'll just pause this and find a file. Okay, then here I found a file with a. It's a free stock image, this is. And it's of a woman, see, with all the blowy hair. And it would be impossible to get all that hair in. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock this layer. So just rename it hair. Enter. And now go to filter. Extract. And then you should come to this screen here. With that. And you get these options here. Just click on the pen. And pick the perfect size you want. Doesn't really matter. But I'm just going to. Yeah, I'm going to use this size just to be quick. I'm going to go round all the hair that you want, like this, make an outline of it. So we want that. Preferably use a smaller brush. So you want all of the little bits of hair. And also go round the edge of the skin, because you've got the white little thin hairs on the edge of the skin and same bit here okay now once you've done this there's an option at the right with all the brushes and all that stuff you want but we don't want that so once you've made your outline click on the uh, fill tool the little, little bucket and fill that in and it will be blue and then if you come to the right here you can click the preview button and it will preview it for you and as you can see it's got got quite a bit of the hair in but you've got these annoying little white bits so what you do is you go to this little the little bit there little brush there the one that's called says makes mask transparent okay and what this does, I'm going to change the brush size. So I'm just co come over here. I'm going to go. That'll do. Wait, a tiny bit bigger. Yeah. Okay, then. And now what you need to do is all this bit here, just go over it. Because you do not want this. All the white bits and the horrible little bits. Try and make it as good as you can. This does take a while though, but it is worth it for the effect. And you can do this on anything, like in my previous video of the seal. You can do that with the little hair on the seal. You can do it on absolutely anything that has little bits of hair. Whoopsie. And anyway, I'm going to speed it up. Okay, then, if you've done the best you possibly can do, just get rid of this bit here. And then what you do is you just go to the right. Sorry, my screen isn't big enough for this, but. And click the OK button. And. There you go, you have your hair and everything. But, I, to be honest, take your time in doing this. So you've got a little bit of white there. It, that wouldn't happen if you use a thinner brush. But, as you can see, it's a very good effect. And now what you can do, you can put on any background you want. So let me open the background. Hold on. Okay, I've picked my background. Sorry it took so long. Anyway, here's the background you want. Let me just minimize this. And bring up the woman. And drag her into there. And now we just minimize this one. And now you just bring her up. Press Ctrl and T and hold down the shift button so it stays in proportion and you can make a bigger smaller move her around 
and there you go that's that's the way to mask a really tricky shot with hair or little tiny molecules or things anyway thanks for watching please rate and subscribe and if you need any help don't f just feel free to send me a message and I will reply to it thank you